Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be discussing how you can best prepare and ace the MAT. If you're applying to mathematics or related courses at the University of Oxford, University of Warwick or Imperial College London in 2022, you'll be sitting the MAT exam held every November as part of the admissions process for these universities. This exam is designed to test your aptitude for mathematics against the syllabus based on the A-Levels Maths curriculum. In this video, I'll be sharing a compilation of insider tricks from our trusted MAT experts to help you succeed in this challenging exam. So first, let's talk about how you can prepare for the journey. The first thing you need to do is to start preparing using the past papers and the topics on the MAT syllabus. Ensure you can comfortably answer the questions on the official MAT syllabus practice document. If you're unclear about any of the topics, revise them from your textbooks and practice related problems. Unfortunately, it's not a good idea to leave out any of the topics hoping that it might not appear on the test. Because the MAT is designed to test for adequate holistic mathematical competency, they will make sure to include at least one type of question on each topic. So get your pen and paper ready and start ticking those topics off the list as you get them done. Once you're confident that you know the syllabus by heart, it's time to try out some actual exam style questions. Open up a past paper, maybe from before 2009, so you don't use up your recent past papers just yet, and try out a few questions just to get a feel for the test. The past papers can be found online. It's better not to time these first attempts as first you want to make sure that you can solve the problems without that additional pressure. In our opinion, the MCQ questions are the easiest to make mistakes in and are more varied in topics, so you should make sure to attempt all of the MCQs from these earlier papers. As you practice the past papers, go over the official solutions. Oftentimes, the official solutions offer a more efficient methodology, so regardless of whether or not you personally got it right, there will be something new for you to pick up from the rationales. And if you find any new techniques in the solutions that you didn't know before, you should spend time trying to incorporate them in the list of techniques that you can use in the exam. This is important to ensure you're able to complete the exam under time conditions, as exam shortcuts can come in very handy. Now let's take a look at concise solution writing. Since the MAT is a written exam where you must justify all of your answers, you need to learn to write clear and concise solutions. This doesn't come naturally to most of us, and it takes some practice. When you write proofs, focus on making your arguments legible. Make use of negative space between your arguments so that they don't just become a huge jumble of words. It goes without saying that if your examiner doesn't understand your solutions, then you'll not get any of the marks for it. Again, reviewing official solutions will be useful here, you should try and mimic the structure of the answers on the official solutions document. So, when should you move on to timing your mock exams? Well, after you've gained a fair amount of confidence with the MAT style of questions, you should see how you can perform under exam conditions. You should take at least a couple of timed mock exams, attempting them within the allotted time of two and a half hours. This will give you a better sense of how to utilise your time during the exam. After taking the first mock exam, you should reflect on what went wrong and what could be done better and plan accordingly for the following exams. This is why taking a few mock exams is helpful, as it will give you a chance to test out different strategies. After each mock exam, you must check the solutions, grade yourself and compare your score to the score distributions published by the universities online. You might find that your score is tend to be inadequate in the first few mock exams, but that's okay. Firstly, you'll improve over time, and secondly, you should keep in mind that the scores published are an average among the successful candidates, which means that about half of the successful candidates actually got below the average successful mark. This is quite easy to overlook when you compare yourself to those mean scores. Also bear in mind that the MAT is only one element of the overall admissions process. So if you scored lower than expected, don't be disheartened, just keep practicing and try to improve upon any areas of weakness you can and your scores will reflect this in time. One key tip towards the end of your preparation is effective time management. By this point in your preparation, 
you should have had a solid understanding of your weaknesses and your strengths. You probably know which questions are more time consuming and which you can get correct fairly quickly. Now it's time for you to try to start strategizing your time utilization in the actual exam. Whilst it's best to come up with your own strategy for this, one of our very own top MAT scorers recommends first glancing over all of the questions and trying to find the hard ones where you might need to spend a bit more time. After that, start with the question one, as that's where students make the most calculation mistakes. You should spend about five minutes on average on the MCQ questions. If you get stuck on a few of them, instead of wasting time, try to move on and leave them for later. Next, you should try the remaining questions in order. When you get to the tough questions you identified previously on your first glance, do what you can and then skip the parts that are difficult. At the end of the question paper, return to the parts of those tough questions that you left out often having the confidence of finishing the exam, as well as the time for your mind to mull things over in the background, helps the second time you approach a difficult question. Finally, after attempting all of the parts that you found difficult, return to the MCQ questions you might have left for later and try them again. If you want to learn more from our MAT top performers, check out our tutoring course online. In the last part of this video, I want to just talk about sitting the exam on the day. Remember, before you start thinking or working on the questions, glance over them and have a quick look to see if there's something that's interesting, like that one automation problem you did previously, or if there's something really nasty, like a, maybe a complicated integration problem. Then list the questions in order in which you want to attempt them. Knowing what lies ahead will give you a sense of confidence that helps a lot during exams like this. Should you get stuck, and this happens to nearly everyone during the MAT, move on swiftly to the next question. In our experience, when you get stuck on a question, it's because maybe you're unable to conceptualise new ideas. So not only do you save time by moving on to a new question, you may also find new ways to solve the problem later. Finally, check your paper before the time runs out. When two hours, 20 minutes have passed, now it's time to take a little break and go back to see what you've written. If you've missed any questions as well, this is a worthwhile endeavor to try and attempt them now. It's impractical to think that you can sort of rectify the whole question, but maybe try and fix little parts if you see any errors. If you find that you haven't answered some of the MCQ questions, give them a quick go as well, as there's no negative marking and there's still a chance that you might get lucky and clinch a few marks. And that's all from our experts on how to ace the MAT 2022. Doing the MAT well depends on your affinity for the syllabus and your confidence in solving problems in exam conditions. It's our hope to make MAT revision tips and advice more accessible to the global application cohort and so if you would like to chat to our MAT experts who have had first-hand experience with the exam, feel free to reach out. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to unlock the rest of the course, which includes over 1,000 MAT questions, 20 hours of tutorials and work solutions to all past papers, click the link in the description below.